Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Tonight's and tomorrow night peak of the Geminids meteor shower is really a fascinating story. This is the biggest meteor shower of this year, consistently ranking as the year's strongest and most reliable by astronomers from sources like American Meteor Society, AMS, International Meteor Organization, IMO, and NASA. It peaks tonight, overnight, December 13th through the 14th, with potential rates of up to 120 to 150 meteors per hour under ideal dark sky conditions. The Geminids are famous for bright, slow-moving meteors, frequent colors, fireballs, often yellow and green or multicolored, and high reliability. Theophon is the only known asteroid parent of a major meteor shower. The Earth crosses its debris field every December, producing a reliable Geminids meteor shower, once again up to 150 meteors per, sh per hour. Stick with me, I'm going to get into more detail about this meteor shower and where it came from. It's the youngest of all the meteor showers. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll give you more space news and earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Fact-based information that you probably won't find any place else. So please subscribe. Theathon's properties, it's approximately 3.6 miles across. It's a fast-spinning asteroid, about 3.6 hours. It rotates. Its classification is an Apollo group near-Earth asteroid, potentially hazardous due to its size and its Earth-crossing orbit. Um, it's not supposed to come near Earth until 2092 for a risk. Pathon is the only known asteroid parent of a major meteor shower. The stream is denser, rockier particles, unlike typical comet dust. And recent studies shows Phaethon brightens dramatically near perihelion and develops a faint tail. Not from ice, like comets, but from the thermal effect surface cracking, dust ejection, viva solar radiation pressure, and sodium fizzing, glowing sodium gas release. This makes Phaethon a rock comet, or an active asteroid. The Geminids were first reliably recorded in 1862, making them a relatively young major meteor shower compared to ancient ones, like the Persides recorded in 36 AD, or the Leonid meteor shower since 902 AD. Early reports described only 10 to 20 meteors per hour, far fewer than today's peak of 120 to 150 under ideal conditions. Models suggest that the main debris cloud formed from a major event, possibly a catastrophic collision, a rapid spin up ejection or breakup of a larger comet body around 1,000 to 18,000 years ago. The particles are rockier and denser than typical cometary dust, helping them survive longer in space without dispersing as quickly. The Geminids aren't fading anytime soon. Predictions indicate that they'll remain strong or even grow slightly stronger in the coming decades before eventually long-term dispersal. Japan's upcoming Destiny Plus mission, launch plan for either 2028 or 2030, will fly by Phaethon to study its activity direction, shedding, uh, more light on how it sustains an impressive impressive shower. The best time to view for this meteor shower starts just after 10 p.m. local time. The meteors will radiate from near Castro in Gemini, east-northeast near bright Jupiter. But scan the whole sky, meteors streak everywhere. No telescope is needed. Just make sure you're bundled up and sitting comfortably. The shower is actually active through December 17th. So if clouds interfere tonight or tomorrow night, try, you know, all the way up until the 17th. Phaethon was discovered on October 11th, 
1983 by NASA's Infrared Astronomical Satellite, IRAS, and was named after the Greek myth of Alphaeathon, son of the sun god Helios due to its extreme close approach to the sun. Its sun grazing path causes the surface temperatures to soar to about 750 to 1000 degrees Celsius or 1390 to 1830 degrees Fahrenheit. This leads to thermal cracking and dust release. Phaethon's orbit is extremely well known thanks to over 40 years of observation since 1983 when it was discovered. Calculations from NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory show no impacts predicted at least for the next 400 years. Close approaches are safe. The closest in recent decades was in 2017, which was 10 million uh, kilometers away. The next notable close pass is on December 14, 2093, about 3 million kilometers or about eight times the Earth-Moon distance. If Phaethon ever did hit Earth, which is extremely unlikely, its size would cause catastrophic global effects far worse than regional damage. Current data rolls that out for centuries. So get out there if you can, bundle up, enjoy the show. It's one of the few meteor showers that does improve with age. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and I humbly ask you to subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.